All right, so if you want to come to the campground, but you don't have a camper, you can just buy one. And that's our sales guy. He bought ours for him. Three, four, five, <laughs> one thousand. Monday, Memorial Day of Memorial Day weekend. We are packing up. We're heading home. We had an awesome weekend, right? Yeah. You guys have fun. Mm -hmm. The Gatorade. This is fish eggs, and I don't even know. But that's not coming home. We're gonna release that back here. So what did we do while we were here? Well, uh, we, the most, the favorite thing we did probably was going to a lake with the whippet. On the, the whippet. Like, and that's like a big inflatables. Yeah. And you can it jump off like a cliff thing. And there's like a rope swing. This is rope swing. My dad can do flips yeah. off of it. And, and then there's like a blob. Ah. So if someone goes on the end of it, then you jump on, someone jumps onto it, and the person on the and end then goes flying. another yeah. person goes flying. Yeah. It's really fun to watch. And there's a bunch of frogs everywhere. Yeah. And playgrounds. Oh, um, there's this guy who found a snake. Yeah. yeah. K K there's somewhere, there's some, a place we call a Frog Alley. It's back there. There's like, there's like a million frogs there. There's a little island. And there's, there's like this, there's a little spot where there's a pond. We saw a giant pot, pike. Pick, or a pike. Pickle. There's yeah, a um, pickle. concert. There was a concert, it was so much fun. And there was casino night, which we went to. That wasn't for the kids. You we guys got to play in the playground. We played football. Over by the we played football. We have at the pools. We went. The you pools went. Are great. There's two pools. The splash pool is good for like. Me? Like. Running. Yeah, like I like the world pool. There's a world pool. Running, There's a world pool that keeps Yeah. Running. I like the pool. And then we didn't go in the big pool. There's just like a regular pool. I didn't go in that. Yeah. Um, there were activities, we didn't do any of them, right? Oh, they I did, did like the giant slip and slide. Yeah. I did and the, the giant wall. slip and slide and I did the rock wall. I yeah. used to yeah. put it on the rock wall. So we were here last year, we were on the same site we were on last year. This is 37. We came back, we love this site. We, um, things, a lot of things upgraded since we were here last. They made the sites a little bit bigger, they put a new pavilion in, they put um, a lot of improvements, right? Yeah. 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 The lifeguards are ten times more safe. <laughs> the ten times, yeah, the lifeguards keep everybody in order around here. The light, the, like, there was like it wasn't 20 that. people in timeout. It wasn't timeout. It was a timeout bench. It wasn't. But it looked like a timeout bench. It looked like a timeout bench, just the lifeguard was guarding it. Yeah, so I took a bunch of footage, hopefully I'll put it all together. But we love this campground. If you're in New Jersey, this is a great campground to come to, right? Yeah. It has everything you want. It's got waterfront sites, it's got a lake, it's got two pools, it's got playgrounds, activities. Um, we, in the past, there weren't many sites that we could fit in with our fifth wheel, but now they have made the sites a little bit bigger. They've cleared them out, so we have a lot of options now. Right? Yeah. So we had a good time. So. And next to the giant. Yeah, we had a waterfront view, and then that Seneca cross pulled up, but it's, it's a pretty nice looking rig, so. But those sites across from us, those are just water and electric. They don't have sewer right there in the water. 
um, as you go up the hill, there are ones with full hookup that are on the water, which we have booked for future days coming back. So, highly recommend this campground. It's a lot of fun. There are a lot of seasonals here, so it is hard to get some sites because there aren't as many transient sites. But when we do come, we have a great time, right? Yeah. yeah. All right, two thumbs up. Hospitality Creek or bust. <laughs> we uh, had so much fun again at Hospitality Creek. This is the second time we went there. Last year we went 2018 and then again 2019. I do have it booked again for 2020. Uh, so this year we went for Labor Day weekend and last year we went Labor Day weekend. This campground is about an hour and a half from our house so it's a nice easy uh, campground to get to. I think if we weren't pulling the fifth wheel, you can get down there and closer to like an hour and 10 minutes. And that's from central New Jersey. We love this campground. It has everything that we want. It has a big lake. It has the pools. It has activities. Uh, we love the site that we've been on the past two years. That's site 37. And so I just wanted to go over some of the things with the campground. I know you already saw some footage of us having fun um, on the water features and a little bit in the pool and here and there, but just going to go through um, my notes. I wrote down some things that might be helpful for you if you're thinking about going here. The location, it's located halfway, it's located in South Jersey. It's halfway between Atlantic City and Philadelphia. So it's really in a weird area of the state that no one goes to. Um, I can't say that. My aunt uh, lives about 10 minutes from this campground. So I grew up going down here and visiting my cousins and my aunt. 
And I didn't know this was 10 minutes away, and I wish I did, because I would have, we would have had a lot of fun at this campground. Um, so, yeah, so to get there, uh, we go down the parkway, and then we take the Atlantic City Expressway. Uh, you can take 287. There's different ways you can go, and you can actually get down there without having to pay tolls. Uh, we just take Atlantic City, or Grand State Parkway, the Atlantic City Expressway. We were on site 37 again this year. It was We like this site because we can easily walk to the pool and the beach and then the pavilion. And we last year and this year, for like a whole day, we had a waterfront view until the camper across from us pulled in. Last year, it's a tiny little site on the water. And last year, a big fifth wheel park there. And this year, a Seneca park there. So the, our entire view was blocked. Uh, but our site 37 is great. It's a full hookup. It has uh, water, electric, and sewer. It has 50 amp. The sites across right there on the water have um, water and electric, but I'll get into that later when about picking sites. Um, so they have. So we love the site. Um, it's great. We um, the activities. They have. They put on a bunch of activities all throughout the summer. They do. They have regular daily activities. They have a brand new pavilion. It's, it's brand new this year. It's gorgeous. Uh, they do coloring and card games and all kinds of things. This is a local, there's a lot of seasonals at this campground and you'll see like cornhole tournaments and um, horseshoes that they all organize themselves and they've invited us to like, hey, come play, we're playing washers down by the lake, come join us. So they do that on their own and then the campground does run some, acti some of those activities too. They do horseshoes and things like that. Uh, they do themed weekends. There's a ton of activities. So you do, if you go on the website, you'll see everything they do from um, while we were so things that we've done while they were there. They had a giant slip and slide. They had a giant rock climbing wall. They had last year they had like the big Velcro wall that you jump and you go up on the Velcro and you stick on the wall and that that was really fun because that's from the kids to the adults. Everybody was doing that. They did a casino night, which I didn't get to do last year, which I was bummed out about because um, unfortunately my, one of my kids wasn't feeling good so I stayed back at the camper with him but this year they were all feeling good so we went over to the casino night and casino night they bring in um, the real dealers licensed dealers and they have a bunch of tables set up I recommend getting there early if it starts at 7 you want to be there at 7 so you can sit down and get a table they had um, I, I played Texas Hold'em and they had craps and I don't even know what else they had I had fun playing Texas Hold'em we, love, we used to play Texas Hold'em regularly at our house with friends and uh, after we had kids we just don't play anymore so so much fun getting to play there and it was still light out and there's like a playground right there the kids were playing right there you could see the kids the whole time and we really the casino night was really fun I think at the end of the night what they do so where you go you don't have to pay you don't do anything to it to be in it that you they just give you a card and they give you a thousand dollars to have play with and then you go and sit whatever table you want and there were some slots I think and you sit down and you play and whoever has the most chips at the end of the night wins. So one of the things about it though, don't plan on winning because the seasonals, they give each other their cards and their chips and they, like someone will leave and then they'll give them their chips. So don't plan on winning. I mean, it's free to be in it. You're not using your own money. At the end, there is some kind of prizes. I obviously did not win, so I don't know what the final prizes were, but it was so much fun to get to play uh, Texas Hold'em for like three hours. It, I had We had a really, really good time. So Casino Night's a lot of fun. And then they have a concert. Um, they I know they do a Memorial Day weekend. They might do around 4th of July. They might off and on if you look at the schedule. But Labor Day weekend, Memorial Day weekend, they bring in a band. Last year uh, was Cry Wolf, which was amazing. And this year they brought in Little Nicky's radio. And they were really fun. They just play a bunch of ballads, you know, every single song, every sings along. Um, kids all over the dance floor having such a great time. It has that feeling like you're at a wedding or reception and it's just so much fun. Everybody's having a wonderful time. We were dancing around. Uh, great, great, great time. Hi, the concert, don't miss it because they, they bring in a good band. Um, and if you don't have an RV, Wade Wars RV was there. They, the, um, I know they did Labor Day weekend last year and again this year they had uh, a bunch of RVs there that were for sale that you could buy. Our actual sales guy, Kevin Sullivan, was there. So if you wanted to buy an RV, if you're looking to upgrade, uh, they had them right there, all the new models, from park models to travel trailers to fifth wheels. Uh, you could walk in and out of them and get any information you wanted. So that was really cool. And then, um, let's see, 
And then there's a uh, like I said. Oh, I'll, I'm gonna read from the kit from here, and then I think I'll over. I'll do footage over what I'm reading. So from the gang room, love. All right. So the camping amenities. There's 240 shaded sites, and I bet 200 of them are seasonal. I'm just saying. I don't know. Including pull throughs. Uh, there's 50 amp electric at all sites. There's cable, Wi Fi, tr rental trailers complete with firewood and gas grills. The rental trailers are beautiful. They have like a grill, uh, they're amazing. Um, there's, a, there's a store with a full menu and they actually will actually deliver food right to your campsite. There's a rec hall. There's clean restrooms. There's the laundromat. 30 acre lake for swimming and fishing. Four playgrounds, boat rentals, nature trail, horseshoes, volleyball, basketball, baseball, daily activities, themed weekends, dump station. So some of the sites, like I said, they don't have sewer, but they do have a dump station there. Um, they have propane. You can refill your propane there. There's firewood. There's ice. There's seasonal sites. Your pets are allowed on a leash. And then I'm just going to read you a little bit about the campground. And again... Hopefully there's footage going. Hopefully I took enough. Okay, with all with all that it offers, Hospitality Creek attack, attracts campers from all over North America and beyond since 1961. So a lot of people here have been like, they've been coming here since this, since it first opened. Uh, they have been drawn to our, cons our consistent family ownership and on-premise management that is now in its third generation. We offer our campers assurance that they will experience a full a family-oriented camping atmosphere that will provide great vacation memories for years to come. Our swimming pool complex is perfect for families with features tailored to toddlers, older kids, and full family activities. Our pools and our beach also include certified lifeguards. Just to put in quick, they don't have chairs at their pools or at the at the beach, so you have to bring your own chairs. And it kind of is nice because it doesn't it keeps it from being overcrowded. So if you're going to the pool, you bring like one of your like easy pop up little director chairs, and you're and then when you're gone, you leave. So like sites are the it's just something to know. Bring chairs to the pool. I like it because it doesn't get overcrowded and there's plenty of room to put your stuff down. Our swim club members represent not only families from the local area, but urbanites from Philadelphia to Atlantic City who are seeking a, a refreshing summer escape. Our location on US Route 322 makes us quick and easy to reach from almost anywhere in southern New Jersey. Our campers have full access to our swim club amenities and our swim club members have access to most of the campground amenities. A perfect combination. So there's campers and then they have a swim club. Uh, come to Hospitality Creek for either a weekend or the entire season and let us provide a perfect setting for summer fun. So there's a swim club, so if you're not a camper, you can just do the swim club, but this is stuff, oh, the, I'm gonna, what I list is what the campers can do too. The Olympic size pool, activity pool, sandy beach with both sunny and shaded areas, diving docks, slides, rope swings, rope in area for young children, picnic grove and wide manicured lawns, lockers and ample free parking. The activity pool includes, I love the activity pool, a water dome, geysers, log, log slide, volleyball, spray hoop, water curtain, waterfall, vortex, dumping buckets, water cannons, lily pad, zero depth entry, and quiet nook for parents. The vortex must be the whirlpool. <laughs> favorite part so the whirlpool there's like a little it looks like a hot tub but it's like three and a half foot and you can run around it and then there's like a little opening and I, it's so much fun I get my workout like I just motoring the kids we get running as fast as we can and then you try and jump out or go the other way and someone goes in the middle and it's just fun That's, we really like doing that so the picnic area, there's a picnic area, and that's uh, the campers can use that, and then the swim club members can use that too. Uh, so the swim club members, people pay a separate membership, and they can come use the water um, activities. Labor Day, uh, the Sunday of Labor Day weekend is extremely crowded. All the picnic tables are full. People are out there. It's just the end of the year, last for all. It's a holiday. It gets very crowded, uh, but I that was the only day that it's really like that. Other way, otherwise, there's plenty of room to sit. Um, the inflatables are so much fun. 
they uh, seen everybody getting launched off of the the they, the blob, and everybody's cheering, and it's it's just so so fun and entertaining just sitting there by the pool area or by the beach area. Um, there's picnic tables, so people will come out early, and they will like reserve picnic tables. They'll put um, picnic cloths down. They bring full grills out. I mean, everybody has a full barbecue here, and it's just a fun. It's a real fun atmosphere. And then, um, but you're allowed to have guests. You can't get like a daily pass if you want to just use the pool activities. You have to be there visiting someone. You can't just live in the area and say, hey, we want to go use this. You can't. You have to pay for the whole season. Um, there's the, there's a price per person. I think it's like $370, $375 a person. Um, so, and you have to have for the season to get to use it. You can't just come off the street. You can't be like, hey, I want to just use it today. But you can be a guest. Um, like the campers, we were allowed to have friends come. We had our friends come. It's $10 a person, so it costs them $50 to come to our site. And they, you have to pay cash. They don't take cards. I didn't know that. I should have been up there and paid for them. Sorry. I'm going to get you guys back. Um, but they came in, and they were already at our site. Our, my self-service was terrible. I didn't even know they were there. Um, but we met them up there, so you just have to pay. So either you can go up and pay for them, and then they can just come, or... Um, they can pay when they get there. So you allowed up to six guests per site, I believe it is. Um, so yes, guests pay cash. Um, I talked about the lake. And then you can, like right there, you can rent kayaks, canoes. Um, I think kayaks. I know canoes and like the paddle boat things. Um, there's fishing right there. Our friend did, we've been fishing there for a couple of years and they never caught anything. And the last day he caught a big fish so that you can catch um, the fish. There's a really nice area. You can walk around the lake and there's like a fishing spot. You can come out. There's like a little island. It's just nice and quiet and peaceful. It's a really nice area to walk the dogs. I enjoy going down there. The kids, we go down at sunset and they're catching frogs. And it's just a very pretty, quiet atmosphere. Uh, the atmosphere at the pool or at the beach it can be loud and exciting. And it, it gets that way. And the lifeguards are very um, on top of everything. If the kids are shaking the stuff or being pushing or I mean they're blowing the whistle constantly. Labor Day was very crowded so they were working overtime correcting kids for language or trying to flip things so they they patrol the areas um, so you don't have to worry about like you know if you have little ones getting bossed around like the lifeguards are on it. Um, there's a dog run that wasn't there last year. I didn't think it was there last year. I didn't see it. There's a nice little fenced in area. It's very, I'm always happy to have a dog run. Uh, the dogs in the morning, I go take them down. They can get off leash and do their business. So last year, <laughs> so last year when we got there, I was so scared. We pulled up and I'm like, how are we going to get our 37 foot fifth wheel to this site? It was tight. They bring you the way you get in. It. It's like a lot of these campers haven't moved in over 30 years. The trees have grown up around them. I mean, they are, they're in there. I mean, those trees are coming down. You know, they've been there a long time. I mean, that's not all of them, but some, but some of them, it is tight. So when you come in, you come in through here. Here's the store and the arcade. I am so backwards. Ah. Let's do it like this. Okay, you come in. You go up Dogwood Road, you go past the pool. You're gonna come up and you make a left. And then you come down and we're back into these sites, we're back into 37, that's where we come. So this road here, this is very tight. You make a left in Oak Road. On Oak Road, it's very tight. But you can see these purple sites, they have cleared out that whole row and they've made it the pull through sites, they're, they're bigger sites, they've re landscaped, there's all mulch on the ground. These sites here, um, closer to the pavilion, these one, was it 126, 124 through 115, those still have a sandy bottom. I think in this whole South Jersey area, it's very sandy. It's like a dirt kind of a sand. They replaced a lot of the ground with mulch, which is really nice. So you don't carry in all that sand in and out of the camper. Those still, um, they still had a sandy bottom, but the other ones were very nice. You can tell that they've been cleared, the trees have been cleared. So, we were scared the first year. They said our site fit a 37 foot fifth wheel, but, and we got there, it, it did, we did, we just fit. 
And so this year we knew we, we, we knew how we needed to park. And it's a, it was nice. But we, when we came up the other road, it was much wider. It was not nearly as scary. So I can definitely tell that they've, they've won things and they've, and they've adjusted things at the campground. So that was good. Next is the pricing. Oh, it's, oh. <laughs> um, it's horrible. It's horrible. The pricing is horrible. Makes me want to own a campground. But, um, so when we first looked at this place, we, we had heard about it from a couple people and we have, I've been looking up and I followed them on Facebook and it was like those little angry faces were like boom, 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 all over. They raised their rate, rates considerably, I think about three years ago, two or three years ago, like a lot. I think it was like, I want to say $65 a night. We never paid that, but I feel like that's what people were writing and it went up to $100 a night. Uh, our site cost us $120 a night this year. This is 2019. If we book that same site next year, the rates are going up to for family four, it's going to be $145 a night. South Jersey. I booked site 49 for next year, which is a pull through, no, it's not pull through. It's a full hookup lakefront site. I got my confirmation. So I booked this two years ago because there's only four full hookup sites on the water that overlook the water. I got my confirmation emailed. It's $180 a night for a family of four. <laughs> I was like, are we going to Disney World? Or are we going to South Jersey? <sighs> it's such a great campground. It is such a good campground, and I don't want to be like, oh, we're not going because I'm, I'm, I'm not spending $180 a night. I'm going to see if I can negotiate that. But, um, so what, so this site, I, I'll put it in a, I, I took a picture of some people that were on that site. And so if you're a family, if a uh, people of two, let's see, instead of 180, it's, um, oh, it's one, for two people, it's 160. There's a bargain. So when I'm talking about those these sites, it's these right it's these right here. 45, 46, wait, yeah, 42, 44, 46, 45. Or 49. Sorry, I'm reading it upside down. So we have I have this site booked, which is gorgeous. It's a beautiful site. I would have liked to have booked um 42. But at the time, I didn't think we could fit in there, but you can tell they've cleared out trees across from there. So actually, we can fit there now. But not for $180 a night. I thought they were just doing that because it was like the weekend, like it was a holiday weekend, they had a band, the casino night. No, that's it all year. So the rates are insane. Um, I can rationalize the cost because it's a... It's nice because it's like that. We like to go Labor Day weekend. It's right before school starts. It's not a far drive. Like I said, maybe an hour and a half with traffic. Um, it, and we can get there and back on one tank of gas. If we go anywhere else, we have to, I mean, we're pulling a 10,000 pound camper. Like we usually have to fill up a lot. So we'll figure most trips we fill up three times. So I can rationalize, okay, we're not spending the gas, but I mean, the, oh, it's so much money. So there are other pull through areas. And um, like I said, over by the pavilion, the, these purple sites over there. And those are, that would be $130 a night. I wanna be on, I like 37, 37 is awesome. Our friends are on 38, which is behind us. I would recommend 38 if you have a toy hauler and you wanna open the back out and they open the side out. They took away two sites and made that one big, huge site. That's a great site. We could play cornhole on it. It was just a huge, wonderful site. You can set up lots of hammocks. Our site, we can set up hammocks. I think they're getting you because it's like two, si the sites are like two sizes for the price of one, but they have it as a premium. So 37, 38, and 43, they're counting them as these uh, pull through so it wasn't even a pull through. We had to back in. I think they're getting me because I booked it two years in a row. Um, so I don't know. It's horrible. I mean, put in your thoughts. I don't know. Tell me what you think. But the rates are horrible. Campground is wonderful. 
Um, I'm willing to pay a hundred dollars a night for this campground. I'm willing to pay $120 a night. It's great. I don't, you don't leave. It's, it's a campground you go to and you have no intentions of going anywhere. It's absolutely wonderful. The people there are absolutely wonderful. The seasonal people are absolutely wonderful. I think they changed these rates because I think they're trying to, I mean, they're improving the campground. They're taking every penny that I'm spending and you can see the campground being upgraded. So it is all going back into the campground, but <sighs> I wish we had more. I wish, it makes me want to open a campground in Monmouth County. It makes me want to have a campground just like this. I want this, this, every county in New Jersey should have a campground like this. Uh, it's just, it's an awesome, awesome, awesome campground. Uh, like I said, I ha ugh. the pricing sucks. Um, that's the only bad thing I can say about it. It's awesome. They come around. The maintenance is phenomenal. It's very, very clean. It's very well kept. Um, the pool, everything, everything about it is absolutely wonderful. Just the price. So, so that's my review on Hospitality Creek Campground. Awesome. Tons of fun. We absolutely love it. I'm sure we'll go back every year. I hope they do something about the rates. I hope it changes. I mean, the one site was, okay, one of the waterfront sites was empty the entire weekend. So, you know, you know, I, so we'll see. Maybe I'll call. Maybe I'll complain. <laughs> I won't complain. Um, we'll see what I can do. I do think I have to switch my site for next year. I want the lakefront site. I just don't want to pay $180 a night. All right. So that's my review. Hospitality Creek Campground. Let's go. Oh, you like my new setup? This will be my new um, area I'll be filming from. I'm going to put up pictures from all of our trips from this past year. So that's my wolves. This is uh, if you go to Camp Taylor in New Jersey, you, that's quite a wolf preserve. That's a wolf too. Uh, it's a painting. I got wolves everywhere in here. I have a lot of my pic my photography in this room. So I'm going to switch this all over. This will be all from our camping trips. So be excited for that. <laughs> all right. Bye and happy camping.